Hey you guys, Matt Allen, Tim Little, welcome back to Tactical Bassin. We've got another buyer's guide video for you here today. We are talking creature baits, plastic worms, all of those tried and true baits that we use year round. Bass fishing from coast to coast, top to bottom, those Texas rig baits, shaky head baits, the baits that stand out for both of us as we travel around that you should be throwing this year. We get asked all the time, what are your favorite plastics? What are baits that I can purchase and go out to the pond or the lake and catch fish? So we literally went through our tackle and picked, I don't even know how many. <laughs> I don't either. Or what, what even category, but we picked the best plastics that we've had the opportunity to use that we have the most confidence in so we're just going to run through them your different texas rig baits now we do have some winter finesse stuff coming some ned rigs and some drop shot in-depth yeah. videos so we won't include that in this this is your texas rig shaky head uh weightless worms that sort of stuff so we're going to yeah. go through it tell you why we like them and uh, down below in the video description we'll link the different colors and the techniques that we like them for um Let's jump into it. No particular order, right? Yeah, We're just no, gonna no go order. For it. We literally All right. just... I'm starting up here in the corner. This is a Kitek Crazy Flapper. This is probably one of the most overlooked creature baits in the market. Uh, everybody knows Kitek. A lot of people don't even know they make a creature bait. The Crazy Flapper, you have to separate all the appendages, has the most amazing action. It works for all three species. We like the largest size the best. We've done the best with that. Giant largemouth, giant spotted bass. It just flat catches them. I'm gonna go with the T-Mac. Now this is like your, your traditional trick worm. Everybody throws a, a zoom trick worm, right? right. But the T-Mac, uh, we've had a lot of success with it, with it. I know you really like the head on it. You don't have to bite off or cut off the tip of the head. It's a little bit fatter, so it fits on the, the head, the shaky head or darter head, whatever hook right. it may be. It just goes right better. On. It just fits that, it transitions better. But the, the net bait, the T-Mac, we've caught fish on the west coast, the south, up north. It is a good bait. So if you guys are looking for a, a, just a generic kind of shaky head worm, look at this guy right here. That comparison video we did underwater earlier this year, that bait was just a standout. Mm -hmm. It looks just like other worms, not the same underwater. That thing is awesome. Yeah, all these baits that we're recommending, we've done underwater videos on most of these categories. Right. So this isn't just coming from nowhere. We have a lot of experience fishing this stuff. You know, we fish it head to head with other stuff and have learned sometimes the hard way when not throwing the right baits. So this, these are our confidence baits. Next up, Zoom Magnum Swamp Crawler. They cost nothing because Zoom, so many of them come in a pack they're incredibly affordable. The swamp crawler has this religious cult following to it. You talk to one guy and he's like, oh, I'm catching him on a worm. You talk to the next guy, oh, I'm catching him on a worm. The next guy's like, I'm catching him on a swamp crawler. Right? Like, I don't know why people are so addicted, but it flat catches them. We throw it all summer long on a shaky head and the magnum size is still not a giant bait at all. The regular swamp crawler is small, the Magnum is like a standard size worm. So typically go with the Magnum. Next bait I'm gonna talk about is this guy right here. This is the Reaction Innovations Man Bear Pig. Now down below in the video description, we'll leave a link to all these baits where you can click on it and get up close HD pictures. But uh, this is a creature style bait. What's cool about this bait is it can be uh, Texas rigged. It can be rigged on a shaky head, on a Carolina rig. You could flip or pitch with it. But we've had days, uh, specifically on you know, where it's been up against its its brother, the, the the sweet beaver, and just the extra action that it has got all the bites. All of them, hundred percent. Yeah, we've done challenge videos where we fished to get you know against each other and stuff, and this was the key bait. So if you guys haven't picked up a man bear pig, definitely, <laughs> definitely uh, check them out because they are. Awesome, they come in all the great Reaction Innovations colors, but a little bit different uh, twist on the creature bait. Since you compared it to the beaver, I'm gonna pull that out, the sweet beaver. The sweet beaver is what I would call a do nothing action. Uh, it's a great profile, but it has no movement in the water whatsoever. 
It also has short appendages, so it doesn't get caught up on everything. So it's a dynamite bait for flipping in heavy cover because it'll go in and out of heavy cover with ease. I really like it trimmed down as a jig trailer. It does awesome on the back of a jig, um, but just fished standard on a Texas rig, it's a really good choice too. Especially as water gets really cold, those dead actions are more natural in cold water than a bait that has a ton of erratic movement. The beaver is always one of my top choices. That's such a universal bait. You can, it, you can use it so many different ways. The next bait that I wanna talk about, this is actually the Big Bite Bait Wacky Stick. And what's cool about this bait, there's a lot of stick baits on the market, but this is the first bait that I've seen. They actually, in the mold, they pour an O-ring so you actually have an o-ring in the bait that you can hook through and wacky rig it. you don't have to have a wacky rigger tool or your own o-rings or anything like that uh, just hook your hook through it and now you have your a stick bait that's wacky rigged obviously you can ta uh, texas rig it as well but uh lower price point than some of the other stick baits on the market pond fishermen bank fishermen if you don't want to lose a lot of baits a lot of money check these out because it's a really cool feature i thought that was really innovative from big bite baits nice Next up, let's do the Archelon. Jackal Archelon is my go-to flipping bait. That if I have a choice, if I know I'm going out and I've got a great big punch weight tied on and I have an option, the first thing I do is go grab the Archelon. It has a really natural profile, really small, really compact, but it's, it's a thick, bait so even though it's not very long there's a lot to it they almost never miss if i get bit i hook those fish and then it's got a good swim on its way back up out of the cover so again that's a bait that i think is completely overlooked in the market very few people throw it and it is literally my favorite heavy cover soft bait next bait for me is going to be the strike king the fat baby finesse this is a uh, finesse worm. It's great on a drop shot. We're not going to talk about that because that's coming in a later that's video. That's coming later. But uh, great shaky head bait and uh, Texas rig bait. It's a smaller, smaller length, five inch bait, but it's a lot thicker, a lot bigger profile. The tail likes to dance around in the water. The fat baby finesse is probably one of my favorite uh, soft plastics from striking. Um, a couple of these are similar, so I should probably do the standard before talking about the others. I'm gonna talk about the Baby Brush Hog. Zoom Baby Brush Hog has been around since we were kids, <laughs> unchanged. Uh, works all over this country. I'm sure you've thrown one. Something that most people miss is that when you rig a Baby Brush Hog or a standard Brush Hog, that there is a right side and wrong side up. We've talked about this before, but you might've missed it. If you take a Brush Hog and run it over your finger, one way that you run it, the flaps want to open. If you turn it over and run it the other way, the flaps shut. You want to rig it on the side where the flaps, anytime it's coming over or bumping into something, it opens up. You get movement out of it. It doesn't just ball up. So there is a right and a wrong way to fish the baby brush hog, but that is a dynamite bait. Next bait I got for you. This is the Zoom Old Monster. I want to talk about uh, big ribbon tail worms. This is a 10, 10 and a half inch bait, but uh, Carolina rig, Texas rigging, a lot of action on the tail. Uh, very easy bait to fish. You fish it slow on the bottom. That tail that is that down there just twitching and rolling and a lot of movement. Throw the bigger worms for bigger bites. Great colors. You go with your, your darker black blues, that sort of stuff at night. Stay with your natural colors during the day but this is a worm you should check out. All right, next up, is that both of our wives driving over there? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Small world out here in the country. All right, I am going with this guy. If I can get this thing open, the big bites are oily, man. The package just gets slick. The flying squirrel. Along the same lines as that baby brush hog, Except instead of curly legs out there at the end, you get these two straight appendages that have a big knob on the end of them. So if you're shaking that bait, you're getting a lot of movement 
out of those two appendages, completely different look as it's moving through the water. Very similar profile, very, very similar, but it's a little bit softer bait. It's got a really high salt content in it. That, that oil has a, I don't even know how to describe the smell, but it's, it's got a scent to it. And then with those straight tails with the bulbs on the end of them, totally different look. So if you're a guy that's on one of those lakes, we've got a couple lakes out here where it's like, for whatever reason, all the older guys seem to fish the same lake and every single one of them throws a baby brush hog. If you're on that lake, making a little change makes all the difference in the world. You're showing those fish something new. Next worm up for me, this is actually the bull worm by Strike King. I really like this worm, very universal to fish. It's got a flat bottom, you know, your traditional kind of rounded top. But look at the profile. It's it's not that long of a worm. It's probably probably eight inches or so, but it's just a lot bigger presentation in the water. So if you're throwing like a big shaky head or a big ball head or some kind of jig, you know, something like that, this is a fantastic uh, plastic to throw because it's just got that bigger presentation. Summertime, your lead's fishing, you can work it really quickly. It's just a big meal and targeting those bigger fish. I really like the bullworm. We've caught a lot of fish on it uh, down in the south and uh, and actually here, out on the west. <laughs> on here. Right. But uh, the bullworm, another, another bait by Strike King. Same great colors, just a bigger profile. And because of technical difficulties, Always. take two on just the last little part of this. Next bait I wanted to talk to you about is this guy right here. This is the Strike King Game Hog. This is a funny bait to me. It's profile wise, let me get a, a baby brush hog out here. They're the same length, but the game hog is almost twice as thick. So it's a much larger profile, even though they're the same overall size. But the game hog, I got into this bait two years ago. It was in the spring, I was guiding a ton, and we were on a bite with an unpegged Texas rig throwing creature baits. And I was just mixing different baits because we were getting a ton of bites. But as the days went on, because the bite lasted for weeks, I kept running out of game hogs. I had to buy two more packs. I had to buy five more packs. I had to buy 10 more packs. By the end of it, I was throwing nothing else. My guys would come on and that is all we would throw. We were fishing it over bare gravel in the spring. If the fish were moving in, heading towards spawning flats, on that light Texas rig, 10 or 12 pound line, I can't even tell you what the difference was. It just made that much of a difference. They were smashing it. Quality fish were choosing that bait over the others, and I couldn't even tell why, but it was consistent. So that is a bait that is always worth picking up and trying when you were on a creature bait bite. The last bait I'm gonna talk about, last but not least, is the Yamamoto Senko. Great bait in your four, five, six, seven inches, but I'm gonna talk about the five inch because it's the most universal. You can wacky rig this, Texas rig it, Carolina rig it, Nico rig it, however you wanna rig it, the Senko is a fish producing bait. You know, we've done a <laughs> lot of underwater video and uh, this just has the best action. They're a little bit more pricey on, as far as the stick baits are concerned, but if you want confidence, you want to catch fish, the Yamamoto Senko is where it's at. A lot of great colors, probably hundreds of colors, so you can match the hatch or figure out the best color for your fishery and get something close to it. But the Yamamoto Senko is a must have. All right, my last one. I'm gonna wrap it up on this one. This is the Battle Bug. Profile wise, it's more like the man bear pig than any of these other baits. It's that longer, narrower profile. Uh, there is a time where that just stands out. What I love about this longer profile, both this and the man bear pig, is that it will take a larger hook because the body section is longer before you get down to the tails. So you can get away with a five aught wide gap hook all day long, no problem. That's a huge plus. When you know you're on big fish, a bait where you can go up to a bigger hook just gives you that confidence you're going to get them in the boat. The biggest difference with this bait is that these two claw appendages 
have a little bit of shape to them, they're designed to kick, to actually swim in the water. So it's not like a dead action profile. It's not just those tails curling. It's got an actual swim to it. So if you fish it on a pegged Texas rig where the weight's right on it, it's going to swim really well to the bottom and swim really well coming back up. You can fish it cut down on the back of a jig and add a ton of movement to a jig, but it also shines really well just as a Texas rig bait. That's a great choice. So there you have it, guys. That's kind of like your, uh, you know, what should I put in my tackle box? What should I get in my tackle box? We get questions all the time asking, which plastics should I be buying? What should I be using? So we kind of went through and picked out baits that we have the most confidence in, that we've fished across the country, had the most luck and success with. And, and year round. Year round. Down below in the video description, we will link to all the baits um, and uh, list some colors, some of our favorite colors for each bait and the technique that we use them for. If you click on those links, you'll be able to see good up close HD pictures because uh, we know we are a little far away. But uh, the buyer's guides, guys, we're having a lot of fun trying to answer all your questions. If you do have any more questions, leave those down below in the comment section. Mm -hmm. But these are made to make it easy for loved ones to shop for you during the holidays. So you can just share the video and uh, they will know what to get you for Christmas because we all know that fishermen aren't the easiest to buy for this time of the year. Guys, it is a crazy time of year, but if you have questions, like Tim said, leave them. We will do everything we can to answer. The holidays are a crazy time for you. It's a crazy time for us too. We're spending time with family, but we'll do everything we can to help. We hope this video helps you. There are more videos coming. I believe next up is a winter fishing buyer's guide. And then we just keep right on going from there, headed towards Christmas. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, guys.